Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple way to bulk update your Webflow CMS so that each item includes its CMS ID. Then I'm gonna show you a, another really simple make scenario, which will keep them updated in the future. Anytime you make a new CMS post or CMS item, it's going to add the ID automatically. So here's how you do it. First thing you wanna do is inside of Webflow, go to the CMS you want to update. In this case, I am updating the member stack blog. I'm gonna export, and then I'm going to edit this CSV, which I just prefer doing this in Google Sheets. So I'll upload this here. And while this is happening, I'll just explain. Essentially, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this CSV so that it really only includes CMS ID. I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, how do I duplicate? So just copy and paste. So we have item ID 1 and 2, and we'll just keep the other stuff in there, and then we will download this as a CSV. Okay, once that's done, we go back into Webflow and we make sure we have a place to store the CMS ID. I don't have one yet, so I'm gonna add one here. Uh, we'll just make this a plain text field and call this CMS ID and save it. And save the collection. When that's done, we can import our edited CSV. Oh, Webflow's being really slow. There we go. We're gonna edit this new CSV here, and this is gonna give us the option to map these fields. So we're going to, instead of creating new CMS, uh, we will be update matching items. All right, cool. So these we're just gonna not import, don't import, there we go. And now this one, because we have it in here twice, we can map this to our empty CMS ID text field and import. So there we go. When this is done, all 88 of these posts are going to have their CMS ID uh, actually inside the post, which is now accessible inside of Webflow. Make, Zapier, the API, whatever. There we go. That is it. Now you can see each of these blog posts has the CMS ID. They're all unique, so we're good to go. This works with thousands of posts. It's really fast, really easy, works every time. In part two of this video, we want to set up a, a make scenario so that anytime a new blog post is created, the CMS ID is automatically added for us. We don't have to do this import process again. In order to do that, I'm gonna to try to make this as easy as possible. So I already have this set up from a previous project and I wanna migrate it over to uh, this new project I'm showing you how to set up right now. Um, and I wanna make it easy for you to access too. So what we can do is we can actually export the blueprint from this make scenario. And, and you do need to pay to make account in order to import it. Uh, but let me show you what that looks like if you do. Uh, you know what, let me, since I just saved that, let me export it again. There we go. Now we'll go and create a new scenario. Okay, we'll call this member stack blog. And then we want to import the blueprint. This is gonna do most of the heavy lifting for us. All we need to do is map the fields. So cool, that's all in there now. First thing you wanna do is if you haven't already connected your Webflow account to make, you'll wanna do that now. Uh, I already have, so I'm just going to select the account that I wanna work with. Then I'm going to select the site that I want to work with. And then anytime a new collection item is created, I want this scenario to run. To keep this simple for this, I'm going to go ahead and set up a, a filter. So this will only run if a, a blog post is created. And in order to do that, I need to grab the collection ID from here inside of Webflow. Click right here, set up a filter, and I will say is a blog post. The condition is the collection item ID must match my collection item ID. So there we go. If those match, it goes on to the next step where 
it's going to update an item. So same sort of process. I'm going to select the site that I want to work with. I'm going to copy in my collection ID again. After all, I click, click map. And then I'm going to paste in my collection ID. Refresh that real quick. And then, you know what, real quick, before we go any further, I want to go ahead and publish my mem my Webflow site. Because, uh, because we added that item ID in the previous video, we need to make sure this is published and up to date before we do anything inside of Make. So in order to do that, we'll click both or all of our domains and publish. If we publish to just one domain or the other, that'll still cause an error inside of Make. Get that published. Uh, get into our blog post and let's go ahead and make a new blog post just so we have some data to work with. Uh, we're, we are going to get an error, but that's okay. Uh, save. Oh, what is wrong with this? Oh yes, we need to, if you have any required fields, you need to enter placeholder information until you have real data to, to work with. And okay, so let's set this to run once. It's waiting for us to create a blog post. So let's do that. Like I said, the odds are good this is going to fail, but that's okay. We just need to get the data. So delete me, enter some gibberish for our required fields. And, oh, it actually ran. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I love it when that happens. So let's see if we have, oh yeah, we probably don't have a CMS ID yet because we haven't set that up necessarily. So let's click back in here. And now we're going to map the item ID. So we'll look right down here. There it is. We're going to map our required fields. Uh, there's that one. And then, yes, for the CMS ID, we will get the item ID. Make sure that's the same, there we go. You have to enter the name, so just pull that from your project, that way it doesn't get overridden or anything funky. And then we'll set these to no and empty. This uh, live at the bottom needs to be empty, uh, just that way it always runs whether it's published or not. Okay, that should be good to go. Let's save it, turn it on. Oh, I hope this works. And then let's create a new uh, blog post. Uh, also a test. I'm gonna delete this later. Get some nice content in there and create. All right, looking at this, looks like we should be in business because uh, our previous one was updated. Let's go into make and look for errors. Not seeing any errors. That is good. And if we go back in here and just kind of click around a little bit, sometimes Webflow will update. We did it. Now, as long as this make scenario is on um, and we don't run into any future errors, then Anytime a new blog post is created or a new post in your CMS collection is created, the item ID will automatically be added. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.